Well, away from that, before we go for the breather, we shall be looking at the sheep cranes. Uh, that's uh, the national netball team. Because uh, today morning, uh, the Uganda Netball Federation did unveil a new sponsor, or should I say partner, in PlusCon. And of course, uh, they come with a package of uh, 17 million Uganda shillings, uh, which is for the preparations of uh, the Commonwealth Games. Now, PlusCon are the latest uh, corporate company to join the sheep cranes uh, after GoTV also joined uh, on the same project, help in the preparations of the Commonwealth Games, and their package was around the tune of 82 million Uganda shillings. And now, at the press conference, Sarah Babidech, the president of the Uganda Netball Federation, had this to say, because I did pose a question to her, asking her what they are doing right that is helping them attract sponsors, which wasn't the case uh, in the past regimes. Thank God for such a great day. We've waited and prayed for this day, and I'm glad that this is the day we've waited for. Allow me thank PlusCon for the kind of trust. I just want to, to assure you that you have made the right choice. We are here to give you all the kind of visibility you need and you may not even be knowing. Uganda Netball Federation is determined, is determined to excel in performance, in uh, good governance, in all aspects of leadership as far as this sport and our mother sport is concerned. I want to thank you. And I also want to assure you that we are a bigger team. We are affiliated or we have affiliated members throughout the country. We have 146 member districts. We have different clubs. We have different municipalities and cities. We shall be having different tournaments for intercities, the under games, and every other thing you may think. I just want to assure you that moving with us or having this partnership with us, it is something you'll be proud of. We are here to appreciate you, to thank you for the trust. We don't take that for granted. Uganda has 52 federations. Choosing netball is something we can't, we can't fail to say thank you. We thank you so much, PlusCon. We are proud of you, and we shall do all it takes to make you guys proud. I thank you. Well, the excitement on her face uh, says it all. I mean, in a space of two or three months, uh, they have another corporate company on board. The first it was GoTV, now PlusCon. All this is in preparations for the Commonwealth Games. And the question is, uh, I mean, how many federations today have partners who are coming on board to help them prepare for the Commonwealth Games. Everyone is waiting for government at Yambe. Yo, much as netball <laughs> is also waiting for government to Yamba, mm. they are going out of their way to try and uh, make sure that they look for money here and there. Uh, everything that is happening at uh, UNF uh, makes you think that uh, probably the sport is headed in the right direction. But uh, we, we will wait and see in the, in the long run <laughs> if it was uh, indeed headed in the, in the right direction. Uh, but yeah, but I mean, what is the right direction, Shaban? Uh, Two, three that, years ago, mm. netball couldn't even attract. Yes, they reached an exit of organizing <laughs> a car wash mm. to raise funds for a team to go to a uh, that, that is why I say that um, everything they're doing makes you think that they are heading in the right direction. And uh, Clive, of course, uh, any money that comes into sport in Uganda is a huge bonus for us because uh, uh, this is an institution that uh, has literally been surviving on peanuts uh, all over the years. So if you see sponsors coming on board, uh, then definitely you think that uh, we are starting to, to be good to go. Uh, but uh, it's not enough. And uh, you would uh, think that uh, we need more. That is why I think uh, she's rallying, literally rallying other companies to come on board and uh, support the she cranes. And uh, it is good that uh, the best national team in Uganda uh, can attract um, uh, such, such sponsorship. I know people out there may think, uh, may argue, but uh, uh, indeed, when you look at the statistics and what they have achieved in the last, uh, in the last years, this is our best national team. And to see that uh, at the moment, they're trying to prepare them uh, uh, in the best way possible for a global tournament, that is uh, the Commonwealth Games, then that, that is a good thing for us. And uh, when, I look, when I looked into the sponsorship, uh, uh, I saw 50 million is allocated to, to the team proper. Hey, 50 and then, million uh, is cash, uh, the uh, 20 is to the help branding and stuff like yeah. that. Yes, uh, it is good, but then again- Because they also uh, have upcoming regional tours. So I believe Prasco and they have a lot of commitment. 
of all uh, th these activities? Yeah, because uh, at one point I was wondering how, the, how they are going to be able to, to achieve whatever they want to achieve before the Commonwealth uh, while waiting for money to come in from the government. But if you see these guys come in, then it's a big bonus for them. And you think that... Uh, we are going to be better prepared than we would have been if this money was not there. But of course, there is a lot to be done still. Uh, going the game of netball, yes, it's a national team, but you would think that uh, they require more money to ensure that uh, there is a proper progression. I'm in looking, terms I'm of looking at the check. If we could only mm. post that picture. I'm looking at a check, and the date says 31st March. Does that mean that uh, <laughs> this deal should have been unveiled earlier? Oh. Um, maybe the deal was uh, completed on, uh, was done and dusted on the 31st. But day. then the unveiling mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. was, uh, was the one that was pending, which has been done today, uh, thankfully. And uh, you and me know that uh, uh, this has been in, uh, in the pipelines for a while. They were trying to broker this deal, I think, from the start of the year. Uh, somehow, Arua Hill were first uh, uh, to take on Plascon. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was a plan yeah, for the company. I, I love the fact because mm -hmm. uh, Plascon is probably taking the direction of uh, now Buaris mm -hmm. uh, because... Uh, they have netball mm -hmm. earlier on you've talked about Ar 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 Hill, where they are the principal shirt sponsors and they are vipers. also partners with viper sports club they mm -hmm. are also co-sponsors of the stanbic uganda cup not to mention mm -hmm. the cricket cranes uh, where they also uh, they sponsor the, the main national cricket team the, the cricket crane so you believe that they are also trying to extend their, their wings um, their wings mm -hmm. um, in, into sports which for me i believe is a good initiative let's go out for a breather when return we shall be talking everything basketball, volleyball, and what's trending in Europe.